we're going to take a look at this TP-Link CASA Wi-Fi light switch and its uses. Hey Google, turn on Playroom. Hey Google, change Playroom brightness to 100%. This is your neutral, this is your ground, and then you need to hook up your load, and then you have your line. So wire that has the power goes into the bottom, and then if you want to extend it to the next receptacle, you will put the other black in here and then extend it out to the next receptacle. And congratulations. So that is how easy it is to set up your CASA TP-Link smart dimmer. This is a three pack. It comes as a single as well. Um, this is what it looks like. It's very, very easy to install. They also have a screwless cover. Here's what it looks like when it's actually installed. Uh, we hooked this up to all these pot lights here and it's a nice dim. Up, full brightness and then gently dims out. Now, we also already linked this with Google uh, so right now we call this Playroom and we set it up with Google Home. I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, but you can see that this is also controlling. See? Off. On. Now check this out. Hey Google, turn off Playroom. Hey Google, turn on Playroom. Hey Google, change Playroom brightness to 100%. So this is very convenient, especially if you have lights, say, outdoor. So we have another switch hooked up to these pot lights, and I'm going to show you how to actually configure it. So at the very bottom, you're going to show two additional buttons. One is reset and one is restart. Sometimes you may need to press restart and that will just boot the system so you can have all the functionality on your uh, application. I've never had that happen, but you know it's there. Uh, reset is when you're initially installing and configuring your system. Um, you want to hold this for about five seconds and that would start uh, pairing it with your phone. Now to put this one on, we're going to start at the top. Right, and it just kind of clips in, and then you just press that in, and boom, that's how easy. And then this one again, you push it up, and then you just pry it off, and there you go. So, this one is actually for the outdoor pot lights. And then today, we're going to show you how to configure this TP Link Casa Smart Dimmer. Now, these do also come in three way. This one also works with Alexa, Smart Things, and Google Assistant. All right, so how do you install this? Well, first of all, there are two cables this is your neutral, this is your ground and then you need to hook up your load and then you have your line so wire that has the power goes into the bottom and then if you want to extend it to the next receptacle you will put the other black in here and then extend it out to the next receptacle um, sort of what we did here right so these two are actually running off of one circuit if you have a loud buzz coming from the switch or your dimmer switch is controlling another dimmer in a house on a different circuit that means that you want to swap this out and get something better now, once that is installed, you want to go and download the CASA TP-Link app. It's going to ask you for your email address, phone number, stuff like that. Make sure you are on your 2.4 gigahertz internet network. And then we click plus. Okay. So now, what would you like to add? Device. Okay. From here, we're going to select smart switches, even though you can get tons of other things from CASA. And this is HS220 with smart dimmer. All right. And it's going to ask you if you already installed it. If you haven't, it's going to show you steps on how to actually install it. They hook it up. But if you have, we're going to go yes. All right, so after 15 seconds, look at the front of your smart dimmer. Is the Wi-Fi light blinking orange? So in our case, it's solid. So we're going to go and press reset here until it starts blinking. There you go, five seconds, and now we're good to go. Next step, yes. Okay, so in a couple of seconds, it should identify that there is actually uh, a pairing mode, see? And it's identified that. Do only one at a time. Now it's connecting, now it says connected. And now you need to choose the network to connect to. So now this is your internet Wi-Fi network. So if you're already connected to 2.4 or is it 2.6, one of those networks, then great. If not, make sure you switch down and you switch and connect to your 2.4 gigahertz, not your five. So we're gonna select next. And because we already set up our password, we're good to go. Click join. Okay, go to your phone's internet settings make sure that you're in the internet network i am so i'm going to click i'm already connected and now it's going to attempt to connect the wi-fi switch to my network okay and it looks like it's worked let's give it a friendly name so we're going to call this uh outdoor pot lights pot lights you can always adjust this later but remember whatever you put in here is what you're going to say on alexa or google home assistant okay now you can take a picture to identify what this is but i mean I really don't care, so we're just going to go save. All right, so now the set dimming range. Slowly reduce your brightness of your smart dimmer until you find the minimum level bolts light. So this one, for example, when we turn this one on, this is the lowest level, right? 
So if I wanted this to be lowest level, say midway, then I could actually adjust that in the app. So then when I went zero brightness, it really wouldn't be zero brightness, it would be about 40% brightness. So you can adjust that on your own. With us, we're gonna make sure that the lowest possible dimming level is zero. So we're gonna go and adjust this. And we're seeing this little dot go all the way to the end. That means that that's the lowest. And we're gonna go There you go, to the bottom, and now we're gonna to go to the top. Just make sure it's working, and then we're gonna go and adjust this all the way up too. Okay, and now we're gonna go and do a test. And now ideally you can see that as that's going up and down, you see, it's dimming and it's making it. So we're all good, so we're gonna call it's all good, and continue. And congratulations. So that is how easy it is to set up your CASA TP-Link Smart Dimmer. Now, the next step is to see if this actually worked. So there you go, outdoor pot lights. So we're going to go and just open this up. You can't see them because it's still bright, but you can see that there is a light on right there. So we're just going to go and turn this off uh, right there. And you can see that it's working. Good. So the next step is to try and get this going on your Alexa or Google Assistant. So to do that, we're going to go and open up our Google Home. So at the very bottom of your home, you should see outdoor pot lights. It's right here. We click on this and it's already synced with it. If it's not, what you're going to have to do is again, go to your home and click plus. Now in plus, click set up a device and click works with Google. Now we're going to search for Casa, K-A-S-A, -A, right there. And you can see that for us, it's showing two devices connected. But if I wasn't, it would ask me to essentially log in with my login and password that you've initially set up with TP-Link. Once you do that, it's basically just going to log it in. It's always going to be logged in. And then it's it. It's going to be working. Now you can go and assign your device to any of your rooms. So if you have an outdoor thing, you can do it. But for us, uh, outdoor is independent. So we can just leave it on here. So now it should work. Let's test this out. Hey, Google, turn on outdoor pot lights. So that works. And now you can see that I can adjust the brightness the way I want it, and I can also adjust it with my voice. Hey, Google, adjust outdoor pot lights to 20%. All right, setting the outdoor pot lights to 20%. There you go. That's how easy it is to get these switches going. Now, this is very convenient because you can also do pre-scheduling, meaning that every night at a certain time, you can turn on the pot lights, and every morning, uh, you can turn off the pot lights automatically. You can do the same thing with this. We actually do this with uh, this dining room light. Um, so every uh, dusk, it just kind of turns on at the lowest possible percentage point just so we can get that brightness. Plus it's also great because if you're not home, then you can turn on your lights automatically. And if somebody wants to maybe rob you or whatnot, then they're gonna think that there's somebody home. So very great way of controlling your home and very cheap as well way to set up like a, a mini security system without any sirens. Anyways, that's my video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.